A reinforcement schedule is a rule that determines when and how often a behaviour is rewarded to encourage learning and repetition. In behavioural psychology, reinforcement schedules are used to shape behaviour by providing rewards based on different patterns. Some schedules provide reinforcement after a set number of responses, while others depend on time intervals or random rewards. The type of reinforcement schedule used can affect how quickly a behaviour is learned and how long it lasts. Some schedules lead to fast learning, but also quick extinction when rewards stop, while others create strong, long-lasting behaviours that persist even when reinforcement is unpredictable. A fixed ratio schedule provides reinforcement after a set number of responses. This means that a reward is given only after a behaviour occurs a specific number of times. For example, in a factory, a worker might receive a bonus after producing 10 items. This type of schedule leads to a high rate of response because individuals quickly learn that a certain number of actions result in a reward. However, once the reinforcement is received, there is often a short pause before the behaviour resumes. Fixed ratio schedules are effective for encouraging consistent effort, but if the required number of responses is too high, individuals may become discouraged and stop performing the behaviour. Now let's look at the variable ratio schedule. This schedule provides reinforcement after an unpredictable number of responses. The reward is given based on an average number of responses, but the exact number required varies each time. For example, slot machines operate on a variable ratio schedule because players never know how many times they need to play before winning. This schedule creates a strong and persistent behaviour because individuals continue responding in hopes that the next attempt will bring a reward. Unlike fixed ratio schedules, there are no predictable pauses in behaviour, making it one of the most effective reinforcement methods for maintaining long-term habits. A fixed interval schedule provides reinforcement after a specific amount of time has passed, as long as the desired behaviour occurs at least once during that period. For example, a worker might receive a paycheck every two weeks, regardless of how much work they complete during that time. This schedule usually leads to a pattern where responses increase as the reinforcement time approaches and decrease immediately after the reward is given. Since individuals learn that reinforcement is tied to time, rather than effort, they may slow down their behaviour after receiving the reward and only increase it again as the next reinforcement period nears. Now let's explore the variable interval schedule. In this schedule, reinforcement is given after unpredictable time intervals, as long as the behaviour occurs at least once within that period. For example, checking for an important email is reinforced on a variable interval schedule because the message could arrive at any time. This schedule encourages steady and continuous behaviour because individuals do not know when the reward will come, so they remain engaged over time. Unlike fixed interval schedules, variable interval reinforcement does not lead to noticeable pauses in behaviour, making it effective for maintaining consistent effort in situations where rewards are uncertain.